Hey guys, here today I was going to show you something uh, about, I, I do some uh, a lot of resin casting and um, uh, pressure pots are so expensive. So I was going to show you this. I've been using this, a lot of people will warn you about not using PVC and go along with the warnings. It says do not use them. Use PVC under pressure. Um, but I cast most of my stuff and when I do use a chamber, I, I only use about 40 PSI just to get the, the fine bubbles out of it. Anyway. I was going to show you, this is one I've been using for about a year. It's just made with 4-inch PVC. It's a coupler, and I had uh, a plug on one end and an um, end that I can um, screw in here. I'm using it as a degassing chamber here with, with this uh, connection hooked it up to a vacuum. And I also use it under pressure with a, um, I just got a small hose. I used to be into model airplanes and just had a, an extension to go over and, and uh, drilled and tapped it. For uh, I think it's a uh, 632, and I apply the pressure from a, um, uh, air compressor, and, and I'm only like I said, I'm, ma the max I'm using is 40 psi. Uh, but anyway, I've been using this for on and off for about a year. I even uh, took and cut out the top, and I have a piece of uh, Lexan in here, so I have a window that I can see in there. So far, it's held up. Um, like like everybody warns, be you know, be wary that the um, PVC can fracture. Anyway, I have a mold that's a little bit too big for that one, and today I'm going to make another one. Um, if you if you do attempt this, like I said, all the warnings are don't do it. If you do attempt it, I'm going to make one just a little bit bigger. I got a cast, I got a, a, a casting that won't fit in the other, but it'll fit in this. Um, make sure that you um, buy the thick walled PVC. This is rated, if you read the end things, that's rated between uh, like 110 and 300 psi at 140, um, 140 degrees. I'll never get that that warm. Uh, but anyway, if you do decide to do this, make sure you buy all the thick wall PVC. So what I'm doing is I'm using a T because it's a little bit longer. I didn't want to use the pipe itself. This is a little bit thicker all the way through. I'm using four uh, female connectors and then I have the four end caps uh, there in another room uh, to do this. But anyway, when you if you, if you do decide to do this, uh, you know, always pressure test it somewhere else to make sure it doesn't blow apart on you. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is I've gone ahead and I've washed all this. I've got it clean. I use a degreaser on it. Make sure I got all the grease off. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the PVC weld and put this in and then we'll go back and add um, more. Uh, I, I double up on the glue joints to make sure everything stays together. So what I'm going to do now is um, uh, put the the PVC weld stuff on both sides, get it together, and we'll do all that and we're going to let that dry for 24 hours. Okay guys, here we are back. Um, <clears throat> I've got I got these all three pieces glued in uh, or using the uh, PVC cement. The next thing I do, and like I said my other one's been doing good for a year, I go back and I take goop. It's the household goop or you can use plumber's goop, whatever. And I go back, go back, and the seams on the inside here, and on the outside, I use the goop, and this just gives you um, more sur more glue surface. I mean, goop is a great product. I've held for model airplanes. I've held a muffler together with it before. Works really well, and it gives it a little bit of elasticity. Um, it, uh, so. Um, it's, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit stronger in silicone, but it works really well. But, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run goop all the way around everything, make sure that seals up really well, and then we'll be back. Okay guys, here we are back at the bench. It's been 24 hours. I've all, actually already tested this. It works fine. I had something I had to get done real quick. Anyway, um, what else I've done since I, I showed you putting the goop on is um, I put the end caps on. You just have to use the regular, um, where do I lay it? Just a regular Teflon tape. Um, the ones you're not going to, like this end down here, I don't remove very often, so I really coated it good and tightened it up really well. Um, the, the top one, um, the way I made this is so you can um, load from the top. If you have something tall, you need to pour from the top or um, load from the side like I'm, like I'm doing on my uh, wagon I'm doing here. But anyway, I use the um, the Teflon tape on all those to put them on. Um, one thing you need, you should think about making, instead of using something metal on this to, to uh, it, it might scratch it up over time, weaken it. I made one out of plywood. It just uh, 
it screws it on really quickly. Uh, just a piece of plywood, three quarter inch I had laying around. I made me a wrench to uh, put that on and off. Um, some things I did really quick. Um, now this is a air, um, uh, like a, a tire get, tire valve, but this was used for model airplanes uh, for the retract. It has a little uh, 832 nipple on the end of it. It's got an 832 thread that goes in here and then a nipple on the end. I used the same thing in here. I drilled and tapped it. Um, I didn't have my 832 screw, so I went ahead and tapped it for my brass piece I had and, and put that in there. That's drilled and tapped. Then um, for a pressure release, a Harbor Freight, I went down and got, this is a um, uh, water release or pressure release from, from a, um, from a uh, air compressor. Um, I, I tapped it. It's got um, the, what's that, the quarter MPT threads. I, I drilled and tapped it and put that in. And so after you pressurize it up, if you need to let the pressure down, you just screw this and the pressure's released. Um, uh, it does, the way it sets, it does leak a little bit of pressure. I usually sit, I usually babysit it because the, the, the resin uh, cures in like less than five minutes. So um, it'll leak down slowly. If I put more pipe, uh, the, the net te Teflon tape on it, it would, it would hold up better. Um, I was in a hurry trying to try something out. Uh, one other thing you would want to do, and like I said, there's always, an ex if you don't do it right, these th ends can blow off. So I'm only using 40 to 45 pounds of pressure. Um, another thing you might want to make, and this is what I did for mine, I took a piece of plywood, and actually how I set this up, I took a three quarter inch ply, and I set this up on um, all the way around, so it's three quarters inch off the table. And then took a piece of square plywood and I traced around it, okay? So what this does, I did that on both, both ends. So I have two of these. What, what, we'll do, what I'm gonna do now is, and I will leave the three quarter inch piece out here on the end so it keeps this perpendicular to the ground or to the table. And then I will add these pieces. I'm gonna glue this in place. And what this will allow it gives me um, 90 degrees of the table this way if you set it up right. And then if you need to use the upper one, it gives you a, a stand for it to stand up this way. And if you got a real tall one that you pour from the end, you can take use the top one as your access and plug this end here. Um, like I said, I have used this probably five or six times a day, 45 pounds of pressure. It holds it okay if you if you do use the Teflon tape. If you there's one end you don't use, just glue it off. Um, but anyway, it works well for me. I'm gonna get these ends glued on, and I may be back with uh, just one or two other things that I've done. Okay, guys, um, these uh, I'm back and I've got these uh, the end pieces glued on, and they're they're in place. I was gonna show you the next thing I did. I'm not only am I pressure casting with this, I'm also going to use it as a degassing pot also. So um, what I've done is um, on the top here, I, I pulled the plug out. I went in, I took uh, some silicone. This is just some plain old um, windows, doors, trim, siding and molding. Uh, it's some just silicone. And I put me a nice bead all the way around the top. After I uh, put the bead on there, I took some um, wax paper, I laid on top of that, and then I just barely set, I had a big piece of plywood, I set the plywood on top. And I put just a little bit of weight, I didn't press on it, I just put a little bit of weight, and I let that set uh, for two or three hours. And then I pulled the plywood off, and um, I, I waited till this was set enough I could remove the um, wax paper and then I set it in front of a fan so I got a really nice good cure on it overnight. Um, once I got it cured I cut, took an X-Acto knife and cleaned out the edge here so I can get my plug back in place. But um, I also I always keep extra in extra I bought a couple extra ends for this. I took one of the ends. Now this is a thick wall because they make they make different types like I said um, the thin wall and the thicker wall stuff, but this thick wall stuff, I drilled and tapped it for that, the uh, quarter MPT thread, 
and I put this nipple on here and that allows me to hook up my um, vacuum pump to it. So all I have to do is put this in and I use my um, plywood wrench to wrench that dance in place and then I just take the Lexan, lay on top and it degasses the um, silicone in just seconds. I mean it just bam it's done. Uh, but I don't use this one primarily for degassing um, the silicone. I have, a, I have the smaller one I've been using but what I, why I did this one is my mold that I'm doing, I'm, I, I'm making some wagons for a guy, uh, the mold is about this long. So what I did is after I poured the uh, silicone into the mold, I went ahead and slid the mold all the way in, put the end on it, and I degassed it again. I mean, all it does is helps get all the bubbles, it gets all the, um, the silicone into all the crevices and everything. So I did that, and I was able to slide the whole thing in and slide the whole thing out. So you can, this makes a dual use uh, pressure pot degasser. Um, so you can use it for both. You just have to have an extra end, put a nipple on it. Uh, it works great. It pulls suction down and, um, and it clears it all out. So um, anything, if you have any questions, just ask here at the bottom of the YouTube video. Uh, I hope this video helps. It's working out great for me. Um, Oh, I did want to point out that the uh, when you glue these pieces on here, it also adds strength because you're not only gluing it to this piece, you're gluing it to the main uh, uh, T-joint here, and it, it adds strength to the whole thing. So, But anyway, I hope the video helps. Uh, like I said, ask any questions you have below. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm Ty from Ty'sPlanes.com.